My name is Sarah Schroeder. I'm a singer, a songwriter, actor. When I look at a project, I look at it and it has to speak to me. And then I go, okay, can I do this? Is this going to change the way somebody thinks? Is this going to inspire somebody when they watch it or when they listen to it? And that's the most important thing, to inspire people. I grew up in a little small town, Payette, Idaho. I first started singing when I was really young. I was the youngest of eight, and my dad happened to be a mortician, and he felt like he really wanted to help out the community. So he would actually drop us four girls off at the retirement home, and we were the entertainment. We'd do Donnie and Marie and <laughs> crazy stuff. We would do ABBA, and we'd sing and dance, and that just was our life. That's where I really started. I love people and helping people. My music is basically a ballad, and a, some of them are pop ballads, but they tell a story. What I think makes my music relatable is, I think most people go through the same things. And the songs that I've written have been very personal to me. When I wrote Betrayal, I will say that I was in a bad place because I had been betrayed by someone who, in a million years, I wouldn't have thought they would betray me. And through writing the song, writing the lyrics, recording the song, I healed. And I'm hoping that betrayal can help other people heal because we've all been betrayed. Yeah. Ah! There's something in the pool! What, what, what happened? I can't grab my leg and I don't know. It's something in there. Mom, what's wrong? Something's in the pool. My first feature was Man in the Chair in 2007. I was with Christopher Plummer, so that's pretty good to start. You're playing across from him, and then after I finished the the scene with him, he's like, my dear, why don't you have more lines? And it was just funny, he paid me a sweet compliment, and I was hooked. <laughs> so we did a movie <laughs> called Not Alone. It starts out, you feel like it's a haunted house, and then it shifts and twists and the plot changes, and you're not expecting the ending. And when I watch a movie that I don't expect the ending, I love it. Why are you here? I don't like horror, but I would play in a horror movie, because you're acting. So it's fun to play a character, right? And the best thing is when you're watching and you don't realize it's even you, you go, that's Shelley Lawson, it's not Sarah Schroeder. That's a totally different person. What inspired me to do The Look to Stars was Not Alone. We had an opportunity to write a song for the movie about love. And it was very interesting because now it seems so much more relevant in today's society. And in the song, it says, love has the power. While hate's growing, love is the answer to fix it. And why wouldn't we all lean on love? If we would, we'd be a much better place. lucky and fortunate because I work with my husband, Steve Maskin. He's a phenomenal musician. He plays the piano by ear. He's a songwriter and my partner. So Steve actually had a cameo and a, a really cool shot in Look to the Stars. He plays the electric guitar in the video. Another major mentor, and she's like a second mom to me, is Jenna Rollins. We would run lines together and work on things, and even stuff that she was, you know, getting ready to work on. She pushed me, she's like, you have a natural talent, you should go for it. What makes me want to continuously create is the passion. It's the passion to want to do more, and also the ability to inspire people. That to me is the best. And the passion that you get when you're working on something new, it's, it's incredible. That's just kind of my personality. I like to just go for it. And I don't like to be idle. <laughs> I, I, I like to be moving. <laughs>